Hi, my name is Pamela Bustamante, and today I'm going to talk about introducing the Hispanic community to Julia. So a little bit about me. I'm a PhD student at Pontificia Universidad Católica de Chile. I previously did a master in industrial engineering and also I studied industrial engineering at Universidad del Bio Bio in Chile also. Uh, in the bottom of the slide, you can find my personal website, my GitHub, and also my email if you wanted to contact me. So first of all, a little bit of context about Latin American users of Julia. According to the Julia User Developer Survey of 2019, less than 11% of users come from Spanish-speaking Latin American countries. It is funny to notice that, in fact, some countries don't even appear in the survey since there are not many users of those countries using Julia. Uh, so this number, 11%, is very low in comparison, for example, with USA that has 30% of users. That means three times the users that we have in Latin America but USA has half the population of Latin America. So yes, we are underrepresented. And we could ask ourselves, why? Why is that? So there could be many answers or reasons to that question. And we focus on one, uh, and is the level of English. Latin American countries, uh, more than half of the Latin American countries have low or medium level of English. So usually when we want to learn something uh, about programming languages, uh, we usually come across with books or manuals that are in English. So to learn something new, you have to first overcome the barrier of language. In order to do this, we provide um, we provided one of the first Julia books in Spanish. So this book is called Introducción a la Programación en Julia. Uh, this is a book that is a translation of a book that is called Think Julia, written by Ben Lawrence and Alan Downey. So this translation and this book uh, shows you how to program it shows you basic programming concepts. Assuming that Julia is your first, is your first programming language. So, uh, Introducción a la Programación en Julia is a book that you can find in the website intrajulia.org. And uh, you can check it out, obviously. This whole project was an idea of Christian Peel. He was the main creator of the idea and I'm very thankful of him. He was a very good mentor during the whole process. So we could do a translation because Think Julia, the book, uh, is available under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial 3.0 Unported License, which basically says that you can share the material, you can also modify it, but you have to give appropriate credit and also you cannot make profits out of it. So because Think Julia was available under, under this license, we could do a translation into Spanish of this book. And if you wanted to, you could also do your own translation. So if you wanted to do, you, if you wanted to do your own translation, uh, you could do it for free without gaining anything in return, or uh, you could also do it with funding. So you can apply for funding in at least two websites. One is Outreachy, uh, that is a website that supports diversity in open source. And so you could apply for money or funding to do your translation through, the, through this website and also you could also do the same with non-focus. They have grants that are uh, thought for situations like this, for projects like this. So you have at least two alternatives 
if you want to be if you want to do your own translation with funding so yes we did a spanish translation but there are also other communities doing something similar so brazilian brazilian julia community is also doing a translation uh, to portuguese which you can find in the website of in the website that is in the slide this project is called julia intro br and our future goal is to unify the english spanish and brazilian uh, portuguese version of thanks julia in one website currently we have one website for each one of these versions and julia intro br is currently in the process of translating but they are doing a great job so we hope that in the future we could merge these three translations in one website so if you want to check out our book our translation of think julia you can check out the link here in trajulia.org in the bottom of the slide um, if you want to contribute in some ways you could also talk to us. We are open to do any collaboration, even though the translation is already finished. We also are currently looking for volunteers um, to check out our translation, to review the, the possible mistakes, and to do other trans. If you want to do other translation to of Think Julia to your native language, you are also welcome to talk to us if you want to so yes i'm very happy to be here i'm very thankful and well thank you for listening to me